20 years ago, former President George W. Bush declared a war against terrorism. It was the direct response to the shock, the fear, and the disbelief caused by the 9-11 attacks on U.S. soil. Now, the Florida Fallen Heroes Foundation is putting a memorial similar to the one on your screen at Keystone Heights High School. It's the mission of a local Gold Star family, hoping to put a memorial into every high school. Action News Jack's Alicia Tarancon joins us live in downtown. And Alicia, you spoke with the family behind the effort who lost their son some 16 years ago. And Dave Seaman tells me that the pain never goes away. 9-11 is another reminder of all the sacrifices that these service members have made. Now this morning, we are live over here in front of the Veterans Memorial Wall, and you can see these names are the ones added in what became known as the Global War on Terrorism. If you look below, Tim Seaman's name was added here in 2005. The last photo I have of him is uh, actually him walking into the airport and he turns and looks at us as I'm taking the picture. Dave Siemens will never forget the fateful knock on the door on August 18, 2005. It was 9.30 in the morning when he learned his 20-year-old son Tim had been killed in an IED explosion in Iraq. Reality hits you when you see the casket, really it does. That was 16 years ago, but the pain never goes away. Dog Today, tags. Tim's dog tags remain close to his father's heart. He cared about kids. He cared about his friends. He cared about his family. We were very proud of him. Tim was one of thousands of U.S. troops who died fighting in post 9-11 war operations in what became known as the global war on terrorism. If you walk along the grounds of Terry Parker High School where Tim graduated, a statue bearing his name and boots on the ground sit in the middle of campus. His father created the Timothy J. Siemens Memorial Foundation in his son's honor. These fallen hero monuments are dedicated to local high schools that lost alumni from the Iraq or Afghanistan conflicts. That way, these service members and their sacrifices are never forgotten. Losing a life like the soldiers, a family loses, it lasts forever, it never goes away. So learn from the mistakes that were made. And again, the Timothy J. Siemens Foundation is adding its 17th monument next week in Keystone Heights for another fallen soldier. And for more information on the foundation, all you have to do is head to the story on our web page. That's at actionnewsjacks.com. For now, reporting live here in downtown, Alicia Taron Khan, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.